Hi, I'm Debbie Cole. I'm at Stampenna's today, and I'm going to be showing you some tools and techniques from our new Stamp and Paint program. You're going to love this program because it's going to save you time and make painting easy to do. Hi. Thank you for joining me again. I'm going to be talking to you today about creating interesting backgrounds using some texture stamps. Stampenna's just has a huge assortment uh, and large variety of background stamps that you can use. But some of my favorite are their stack art stamps, which comes with an assortment of borders and textures right in each kit. And today I'm going to be using a text stamp from this kit to show you how to repeat a background. So the first thing I'm going to do is put out a drop of paint and just roll it on my creative pad palette. This is just like creating a giant stamp pad, mixed stamping with multiple stamps and multi doing multiple impressions really quick and easy. What I want to do is I want to make sure that all the paint's on here nice and thin so I don't get too much built up on my stamp. And then I'm going to simply press in here, and I can do just a little test over here, see how it looks, if you can see that. So I know that it's loaded fairly well, and I'm not too worried about it. Because if it does, with the, this text stamp, if it doesn't show up all the way, um, I'm going, I don't have to worry about it because it's going to look a little bit old, old world anyway, so if there's a little bit missing, it's okay. But the one thing I want to take into consideration is how much of a gap there is on the stamp when I'm overlapping it. Because that will make a difference. So I want to make sure that I have nice wet paint on there and I'm going to align it with my surface. And again, I don't rock when I paint, when I stamp with paint, I just simply press down. And like I said, some of it might be missing, but that's okay because I wanted this to look a little bit more old world. And then what I'm doing is I'm coming and I'm remembering that I have a little bit of a gap there, and I'm aligning it so that it just slightly overlaps. And what I'm hoping to do is make it look like it's just one continuous pattern. If I did not have some of this paint missing, I would have come back with the background color and removed it anyway. So in this situation, I'm really happy that I'm missing just a little bit to make it look like it's a little bit warm. And there we go. If I wanted to, I could come in and just touch up, making sure that I'm laying it a little bit. And just touch it up like that. And I think that's the key fairly interesting. The next thing I want to show you is that you can also use some of their smaller stamps. Well, you can use large stamps or smaller stamps, but I absolutely love these charm stamps that they have because you can use these and repeat them and create interesting patterns with them. And what I've done is I've taken a few of their butterflies and I've actually put them on a large acrylic handle. And then that way I can create a interesting pattern and only have to stamp a few times rather than going in and my pattern will be the same each time because it's laid out on the large acrylic handle. So what I'm going to do is come in and I'm going to make this color just a little bit darker. So I'll put another puddle out. Now I have to be careful to make sure that none of this paint has dried. It is fairly thin. because we don't want it to lift up. I have a lot of puddles, so I'll just wipe off my brayer on some paper towel and come in. And you can see it's there's now a nice thin coat on here. And so I'm going to press the handle down into the paint and the only bad thing is I'll get my fingers full of paint but that's okay. I can see that it has a nice impression. If I'm worried about it I can always reload it. 
And then I'll, once again, I come over and I press my pattern down. And then I'll quickly reload. And this time I'll just tip it this way, see if I can finish it. But you can see how quick and easy it is to create such so an interesting pattern and use it as a background. Now I can put a flower or another butterfly um, and just add some really pretty um, icons on top of this. Thank you so much for joining me today. In our next video, I'm going to be showing you how to save lots of time base coating by using our masks and templates that come with our jumbo stamps. See you then.